Can you lose weight without exercise and a strict diet? Let's put it this way. Exercise is terrific for your body and mind in so many ways. You cut down the risk of many diseases, lower your incidence of depression, anxiety, and other mental health problems, boost your energy, and sleep better. Exercise equals health, and we should all move our bodies every day. But what if you don't have enough time or energy for exercise at the moment, but still want to lose weight, at least a bit? Welcome to the Health Nerd. And today, for all those lazy goofs, we've come up with 11 life hacks to lose weight without a strict diet and exhausting exercises. Number one, be realistic. First, be realistic, especially with weight loss. You can't simply go from 120 kilograms to 60 kilograms in one month, even if you want it with all your heart. The best way to start would be to know how much weight you want to lose by year end. Then, spread it across the months. If you wish to go from 120 kilograms to 60 kilograms in one year, you will lose 5 kilograms every month. Sounds a lot more realistic. Number 2. Drink water before eating. Don't switch to any other drink. A glass of pure water before your meals is the best. Having a glass of full water will help you take in fewer calories than usual. It will greatly affect your weight losing habit, and plus, your skin will thank you for this. And duh, water has no calories. Number 3. Don't eat within 3 hours of going to bed. Eating just before bed? Bad idea. It causes weight gain because your metabolism slows down when you fall asleep. This habit causes undigested calories to be stored as fat. If you have a strict time you go to bed, plan your last meal of the day three hours before bed. All it takes is a bit of discipline. And don't even think about eating at 3 a.m. like Patrick Starr. Number four, get enough sleep. We all want to be productive machines, but sleeping less than five to six hours will definitely increase your chances of weight gain. Lack of sleep changes the release of two hormones that help your body regulate hunger feelings. When you don't have proper sleep, your body releases more ghrelin, a hormone that stimulates appetite and releases less leptin, suppressing appetite. Number five, spread out the meals. The longer you wait between meals, the bigger your hunger gets. The hungrier you get, the more you'll devour. If you catch yourself constantly overeating, skip the three meal a day plan and break it out to five or six meals per day. However, this also means eating smaller portions per meal. Include lots of lean protein, healthy fat and carbohydrates, fresh fruits, and green vegetables in your food. That's not exactly a diet, right? Also, make sure to drink at least six to eight glasses of water daily. Number six, don't eat sugary foods. If you're losing weight without making a significant effort, one of the best things you can do is reduce your sugar intake. And how to reduce sugar intake? Don't buy sugary foods in your weekly shop. Sounds silly, but those British scientists indeed held a study that found the less sugary food you see in a house, the less you eat it. Duh! However, make sure to quit sugar slowly, substituting favorite snacks and drinks with healthy sugar alternatives that produce the same effect. Giving up sugar too fast will cause so much stress. Trust me on this one. Number 7. Eat fiber-rich foods. Again, it's not a diet, but a healthy suggestion. High fiber products will help you feel fuller for longer. One study found that oats help release satiety hormones that stimulate the release of peptides involved in regulating appetite. Oat positively reduces appetite over a few hours, whether it's a meal or included as an extract. Fiber also improves digestion and lowers the risk of heart disease, stroke, type 2 diabetes, and bowel cancer. Foods typically high in fiber are beans, lentils, popcorn, berries, avocado, whole grains, apples, dried fruit, potatoes, and nuts. Other studies also show that a particular type of fiber, called viscous fiber, is helpful for those trying to lose weight. It increases fullness and reduces food intake in the hours after consumption. Number eight, identify one thing you want to change about your lifestyle. We get it every new year. Hordes of people decide what they want to change in their lives, mainly becoming healthier and fitter people. Usually they blast for a month, tops. Instead of going all in with getting on a complex diet and going to the gym every day, Pick at least one thing from today's list and try sticking with it. We all have individual journeys that include big and small goals to help us become better, make progress, and move forward. Tracking all the things can backfire and cause anxiety and overwhelm, making the task at hand difficult. Shift your focus to change just one thing. You will help break this habit loop and still sustain a small challenge. Number nine, get rid of unhealthy habits. 
Whether it's drinking, smoking, binge eating, or overly stressing, these unhealthy habits will toll your body. Steer clear of them while losing weight. Number 10. Avoid stress. Now let's talk more about stress. Over the years, many scientists have proved the horrific effect stress has on our health. It impacts our breathing capacity, brain function, muscle growth, etc. It also makes us hold on to any unwanted weight and enables weight gain. A 2015 study showed that bodies metabolize slower under stress. When we're stressed, the number of calories we burn decreases. Precisely stressed women burn 104 fewer calories in one day. Plus, the stressed women also had higher insulin levels in their bodies. High insulin can increase the risk of obesity, type 2 diabetes, and cardiovascular disease. It also reduces life expectancy over time. Over one year, an additional daily 104 calories could work up to 4 kilograms every year. Especially in a pandemic, people have had many stress-related issues. It's vital to have different coping strategies, like problem-based ones, where you try and deal with the source of the stress, like distancing yourself from a stressful person. Or you can try emotion-based ones, where you can't control the source of the stress, but build a way to cope with exercise and gratitude meditation. Stress management practice will really make you feel better daily. If there's something you like or think you could try to help you with stress, start doing it regularly. Some people practice simple breathing exercises, others like working out, and others like meditation or free writing exercises. Number 11. Push through any setbacks that you might have. Even little change doesn't always come easy. It is inevitable. One day, you will have setbacks and feel like a total loser. Over half of us will give up our New Year's resolutions in the first two weeks of January. The major difference between those who succeed and fail at changing a habit is pushing past these setbacks. Would you quit your job after experiencing one bad day? The same principle applies to your personal health journey. Keep pushing forward. But what do you think? Which one of these tips do you find the best? Make sure to share your opinion in the comment section. We hope you enjoyed our video. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe so that you don't miss any of our content in the future. Until then, we'll see you in the following video.